Hello listeners, today I am going to discuss about one of the very famous Australian poets that is Alec Derwent Hope, commonly known as A.D. Hope and his very famous poem, The Death of the Bird. So before I start analyzing the poem stanza wise, I would like to point out and let you know who is this Australian poet. Alec Derwent Hope was born in 1907 and died in the year 2000. He is known for his poetic writings, his essays. He was also a great critic and an editor. He is recognized as one of the most influential and celebrated Australian poets of the 20th century. Critics classify him as a classic poet in that much of his work utilized traditional forms and rejected modernist and postmodernist poetic trends. He also incorporated mythology, legends and fables in his verse. Despite the anachronistic nature of Hope's poetic hour, commentators praise his biting satire the clarity of his language and sophistication of his poetic vision and view him as an important contributor to traditional prosody in contemporary poetry. Although Hope's poetry is regarded as stylistically conservative, he is the one who utilized the iambic quatrain. The subjects of his verse were varied in scope. He is also viewed as a satirical poet as many of his works spoke fun at technology, conformity, and the absurdity of modern life. In the poem Australia, he notes the lack of culture and intellectual challenges to be found in Australian society. His incorporation of myth and legend is viewed as defining characteristic of his various poems. In the poem The Death of the Bird, it is a natural creature a motif in its own right and its destiny, its lostness and final death, which is natural to it. At the same time, it may be seen as a concrete image of Hope's view of the human condition. So this is about who is Alec Derwent Hope. And I mentioned two of his very famous poems, Australia and the Death of the Bird. Now, I will be talking about his poem, The Death of the Bird, stanza wise. Since we all know that Alec Derwent Hope was one of the writers who was writing in the Commonwealth literature, so his writings are typically talking about the Australian landscape, sometimes in its, realis- in, in its realistic terms and sometimes satirically. The Death of the Bird is a very important poem because Up till now, the different poems that we have been listening to or reading to talk about the birds who are alive, full of energy, chirpiness, mystery and everything. This is one such poem that takes up the concept of death. And Alec Derwent Hope, as a poet, has done full justice when he is talking about the death of the bird. So here we go. First stanza. The first line signals the theme of the poem that for every bird there is this last migration. The line tells us that for this bird the death is near. The heavy weight of the line foreshadows what is to follow. Once more, the season is forcing the bird to migrate and the little bird is taking a flight to the summer region. Stanza 2. Every year, the bird travels from one hemisphere to the other, and this travel season after season surely and safely guides her to reach her home. Going away from one place, she too is coming to another home. Migration every year has made home for the bird far away from her native place. And in the second stanza, it becomes very much evident that to some extent, Hope was trying to talk about the migrants who are migrating 
from their homeland to their host land and in both these places their home is located stanza 3 in continuation with the second stanza the bird as observed by the speaker is being home her migration has brought her to a place that is making her passionately brood over her past this memory makes her remind about the feeding bouts and nest making she remembers the things like apparitions that keep haunting her heart and all this is because her end is near stanza 4 the poet further gives the picture of the landscape that is going to register the fall of the bird the landscape is of a desert that is giving the mirage of green valleys there is a palm tree and architraves of temple or palace a cool air is blowing in the moorland that is giving the atmosphere a chilling effect this chilling again could be related to the deadly effect that the speaker wants to create for the upcoming death stanza 5 the growing love in the heart of the little bird keeps her going death is near her but nothing stops her for from traversing the path the journey she has taken her flight is gradually seen to be affected when the poet says i quote drives her at last on the waste leagues of air unquote stanza 6 the speaker very beautifully describes the bird as a tiny vanishing speck in the least important dominions she is explained as a single fragile being who while flying in uncertain is uncertain of her place death is near and she even among the flock of her companions is alone the vastness of the space is making her lose herself from within she feels an alienation from everything that is around it stanza 7 The little bird feels its end is near now. The appointed season here is the inevitable death. The invisible thread that binds us from life is broken during her flight and suddenly without any warning, without any reason, death strikes the little being. The guiding spark that was making it alive suddenly winks for a moment and dies. Stanza 8. She tries to survive again. but to no avail the immense and complex map of hills and rivers appear to be mocking at her small wisdom their vast design makes the little being as negligible and as insignificant as nothing stanza 9 death in its dark demeanor engulfs the little bird the darkness rises from the eastern part and the winds hungrily start ending her journey and the great earth without grief and malice receives the tiny burden of the bird's death so in these nine stanzas of the poem alec derwent hope has beautifully traced the trajectory of how the bird begins her last journey and how throughout the poem she continuously struggles she continuously works and finally when death strikes her she falls down and the tiny burden of the bird's death appears to be a very powerful image i hope this video proves to be of help in understanding this poem and the poet if there are any questions kindly mention them in the comment section below subscribe to the channel and again in the next video i will be talking something more about commonwealth literature thank you